Hey, what's up guys? My name is Thomas Park. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to make a different type of video because I think it's so important. Now I know a lot of people out there aren't very politically interested and you might be outside the United States, which I completely understand, but I still think this video has a lot of relevancy and importance for people who are within my community. If you care about the internet, if you care about internet privacy, if you care about just internet rights overall, I think you should stay tuned and watch this video even if you're not that interested in politics. And I'm going to explain to you why. Hey guys, just a reminder to check out VPNTierList.com. It's a collection of all my ratings on the channel and you're going to find lots of helpful information here on how to choose a VPN. Anyways, back to the video. Just starting out guys here, I want to make it clear that I am a Bernie supporter and this is a good chart to show you why. If you don't believe in spying on US citizens, um, Bernie Sanders is against this as well. You know, under the Obama era, there was like um, the Snowden revelations and stuff like that, where it turned out that the United States kind of has mass surveillance on US citizens, and Bernie is against this. So if you're in the United States and you believe in more internet privacy, then you probably should vote for Bernie. Um, not only that, I mean, he's opposed to the Patriot Act. He believed that Snowden was defending American freedom, like I just said. So he's like, he's against the NSA spy agencies and stuff like that here on the channel. I'm sure a lot of you guys care about, you know, your internet privacy. You don't want it being in the hands of these um, massive spy agencies. He was saying that in my view, the NSA is out of control and operating in an unconstitutional manner. I worry very much about kids growing up in a society where they think I'm going to be not talking about this issue, read this book or explore this idea because someone may think I'm a terrorist. That is not the kind of free society I want for our children. So Bernie has voted against pretty much every one of the laws that is kind of propagating mass surveillance and monitoring every US citizen. He's voted against, you know, the Patriot Act in 2001, which was 19 years ago that legalized most forms of mass surveillance. But not only does Bernie, you know, believe in stopping mass surveillance, he also believes in protecting free speech and he's against censorship. He's opposed things like PIPA, but he thinks it's absolutely essential that the internet remain open and free of censorship. Not only that, but he's also done a lot to strengthen net neutrality and he's trying to support bills that restore it, but have been repealed by the FCC. Now, a lot of political centrists and people who don't believe in Bernie Sanders are always saying, oh, these ideas are too radical. You know, how is he actually going to implement the things that he's saying? Well, now he's actually starting to put forward some of these plans. And I got to say, they actually look really great for the future of, you know, the Internet itself. And here's some of the stuff that I'm gonna, he's going to be talking about and planning. And that Bernie Sanders is proposing a $150 billion plan to turn the Internet in the United States into a public public utility with low prices and fast speeds and this article is a good one from Business Insider that details how it works. So basically the plan kind of has a lot of different components and I think a lot of them have pretty good merit. Firstly the plan would require internet service providers like all the big ones to offer a basic internet plan that provides pretty good speeds for a pretty good price. Not only that it would kind of redefine what is the minimum broadband speeds for internet in the United States. So um, it would change it to 100 megabytes download speed and 10 megabits per second um, upload speed, which is like decent. That is a huge upgrade from 25 megabits down and three megabits up, which is the current broadband standard right now. You can see here, this is kind of like the average in various regions and it's pretty slow in a lot of areas. So this would do a good job at increasing the speeds overall. Not only that, I think this one is super important. This new plan would break up conglomerates like Comcast and AT&T that provide internet and telecom and stuff like this, but they also provide you content that runs on these services. So under this proposal, these conglomerates would be broken apart and it says, um, Sanders would use existing antitrust authority rather than the FCC to dismantle internet service provider and cable monopolies. Moreover, he would bar service providers from also providing content. So this would be a huge deal. It could even influence like Comcast and Hulu and stuff like that. Um, honestly, it's a pretty ambitious goal, but I think it's something worth hoping for because it would be good to break up how these conglomerates are shaping in the in the years coming forward. Probably one of the biggest and coolest things I think about this plan would be to provide 150, 150 billion to create publicly owned, democratically controlled, cooperative or open broadcast networks. So this is a really good idea, kind of putting it outside the realm of these huge telecom conglomerate monopoly companies like Comcast and Verizon giving 
internet to perhaps democratically owned um, areas in the United States. So states or municipalities um, could create their kind of own broadband networks, which would be really cool, not relying on these huge telecom providers or major net internet service providers. So another really good thing about this plan is that it could end data caps and speed throttling, which is definitely a problem. A lot of people use VPNs to get away from speed throttling. And now with data caps, you can't really use a VPN to get around it. Comcast is notorious for having a one terabyte data cap now and if you go past it you're going to have to pay more and you, you they'll kind of raise the price for unlimited now they've made it a uh, charge to be unlimited whereas before comcast would let you use unlimited no matter what now they're charging you and capping you and bandwidth throttling you as well um so they want to remove these caps and stuff like that which i think is a really good idea anyways guys this is kind of like my first politically charged video and I think it's really important to take notice of, you know, these candidates and it, really good plans like this that you should support. So I think um, in 2020, if you're in the United States of America and you want to vote for a candidate that cares about Internet privacy and cares about protecting you against mass surveillance and things like this, um, believes in stuff like Snowden revelations, then you should vote for Bernie Sanders in 2020. If you got offended, if you're not politically motivated, well, that's just too bad. And I'll see you again on the next one.